if I'm very, very honest, it's a smidge nervous, and it's mainly because I haven't played this save file on my own yet. It's only been uh, me and Mike, so it should be interesting. You treated yourself today, so I'm a happy gal. What? Oh, wait, with the, with the, the Pokemon stuff, yeah? I was like, what did you treat yourself with? <laughs> I woke up this morning and realized I took my bill money out of the wrong account and had to correct that. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. Glad you caught it at least. Alrighty, so... First day of playing this save file on my own. Mike may or may not be back this weekend uh, for some more. Maybe he won't feel like it. Um, I will say, however, we were creeping on Lee Chat's... Um, stream of stardew yesterday and they're 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 very advanced compared to my farm here with mike um we saw some stuff we saw some stuff that was very very interesting for the update and i'm not going to say what it was but um we were both like oh like what is that <laughs> so i'll tell y'all when we see it uh okay it's gonna rain tomorrow uh it's a neutral day but the more important thing is today is the first day of the desert festival we did not get to experience this year one because we didn't have the bus obviously um and i'm kind of sad mike's not you know he's not here for it <laughs> you won't go with a cold i hope you feel better soon i just stay organized at heart but my adhd brain makes it difficult at times it's like an unstoppable force versus immovable object situation yeah i get you i get you Alrighty, let's see here. I'd like to surprise my husband with a gift. He's a big fan of leaks. Could he bring me one? Oh, Mike left me with the stupid leak quest. Gosh darn it. So, Evelyn is asking for 12 leaks for George. On top of an additional leak for George. Heck. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do here. Oh god, I gotta take care of the animals too. This was Mike's job. Okay, I already had one on me. Um, also, Affection, I didn't get to tell you, but Mike and I watched um, from up on Poppy Hill the other night. Because I think you were you were talking about it. And uh, we loved it. I thought it was great. It was really, really cute. Uh, and then last night, watched Arietti, which is one that I really enjoyed, but Mike hadn't really seen it. He liked it a lot more than he thought he would. Which is, you know, nice. <laughs> Okay, we got lots of eggs. That's it. That's a chicken. Duck mayo. There we go. Chicken baby move. There we go. That was me. I love that film. Yeah, it was very cute. I like, okay. I have seen what the box are or like the cover art looks like and now I understand why I thought it was sad but it's not it's good 10 out of 10 would recommend I don't know why Mike was making a smoked sardine there might have been a reason um apricot giant stump no maybe not I saw some starting moths the time master one plus some UI stuff Restarting now, it feels so much better to play. I don't feel as stressed to rush things now than earlier. That's good. I'm glad. It can really make a world of difference. Could be for your neighbor. Oh. Wait, can I take it out? <laughs> Maybe it was for my neighbors. Maybe you're absolutely right. Bear with me. Bear with me. Let me see here. And then we're going to go check out the event. Um, after I give this to... Um... Linus as well. Oh god, what do you guys want? Um, fire quartz. I can do that. That's easy. Neighbor, do you need something? Now, maybe I find a wife. Okay, so you were saying that last time. So I don't think that's anything, which is, you know, fine. Um, uh, it's also Salmonberry Day. Man, we're busy today. We are gonna be busy. Could it be for money? It might just be for money. It might just be for money. It might not be anything fancy. Okay, um, fire quartz. I 
There we go. I swear this turned red with the lava eels in it, though, didn't it? Uh, change of parents, empty pond. How do you, do you like... One, two, three. Hey, look, it's fire quartz. Just what we needed. This is, this is good? Yes? Okay, cool. I am learning. Princess Knight, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. Only once there's a certain number. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Because we saw one yesterday that was very distinctly a green pond on someone's stream. And Mike's like, oh, what's that? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure, depending on the fish you put in, it does change color. Okay, go find Linus, then we're going to the desert. Desert festival is now open. I don't want to know what it is. I'm also going to pick up this leak. It gave me two. How many more do we need? <laughs> I need two more. Alright, we got this, I believe. I want to know too. Hi, Han. I hope your trip on uh, home is going well. Uh, Linus, Linus. Han, I'm realizing how much work you were doing and now I'm overwhelmed. But it's a, it's a good overwhelmed. Still waiting. Oh god, would he be at the event? Mm, he might be at the event. Okay. Um, <laughs> that kind of sucks for us. It's okay. It was just a little quest. It wasn't a big one. Uh, let me quickly check around here. How would he get there? I don't know. He like is besties with Pam or something, maybe? This bear is following me. Oh my god, never mind. I found him. Hi! Crispy over the wilderness is all I care to know. There you go. So you notice I post it looks perfect. Here's your payment as promised. Okay. Who has two thumbs, no audio, and a class to teach in 15 minutes? This guy. Could someone say hi to Jacob from me, please? I know he won't be able to hear us. Or hear me. I lost a thumb sending that. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh my god, you wanna le- George, I'm- <sighs> I now have three different quests to give leaks to George. Please send help. George, just take one of them. I don't even care anymore. This one gives a ticket, so I'm a little bit more biased towards it. There you go, buddy. Delivery for George, done. I think the game is trying to tell us something, chat. Thank you, affection. Okay, it's only 12 o'clock. It's all good. We're going to the event. We're gonna have a great time. Ham is here. Let's see what this is all about. My leaking friendship. I literally am. <gasps> oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's new stalls. Okay. Is that man wiggling his fingers at me at the desk? Excuse me? Uh, have you seen the size of these calico eggs? Just imagine the protein. Calico? Oh, yeah, look at the top left-hand corner, chat. My trees are gone! Oh, I'm sorry, hon, I know. At least you planted some at the quarry. That guy kind of terrifies me. What are these? What are these? Is that the snail Ollie hunted last time? <laughs> uh, why hello there, hungry? Yeah? Oh yes, I'm very pleased to hear that slurp. Um, I'd like to make you a very special dish, something I perfectly suit to your unique taste, may I? No? But yes, because I want to know what it is. Oh, giggle, very good. Now, ew. <laughs> now, what will you have? Hardy beans, cave loaf, rare fruit, extremely sharp cheddar. You know what? Okay. Was there ever another option? He got- he does. He has the hands. <laughs> the bongo tap hands. 
Extremely sharp shatter excellent traits. Now what kind of sauce will you have? Rich marinara, mushroom cream, cherry syrup, uncomfortably hot sauce. Give me that hot sauce. Very good. A healthy drizzle of uncomfortably hot sauce to round out the dish. <laughs> Why are you hammering my food to get- oh my god. A lot. I call it nachos of the desert. Enjoy. Uh, oh, what is that? Attack plus three for seven minutes and I am, uh, speed. <laughs> what is this? Hey, you really pulled through with those eggs. The omelet turned out great thanks to you. Oh, that's from something else. Normally I provide all the food for town festivals, but not today. It's nice to be able to relax. Ahoy there, lass. Looks like decent weather for fishing, eh? Willie's challenge, catch three sandfish. Sure, I can do that. I like fishing. Hi, my 170. Yeah, this is our our second starter year here. And I think this might be, it's like an event I don't think you can normally trigger in your first spring, or it might be really difficult if you were to. Oh my God, what is, why is this fish so difficult? What was that? I just want storage space. Oh. Oh, how have you been enjoying Persona 3? How have you been liking it? The scorpion card properly. As long as that's not the sandfish, we're good. <laughs> I was all confident and uh, then that fish came in. Are you another scorpion carp? Could you just leave, please? Gosh darn it. Billy, you're giving me bad luck. I'm moving up here. That fish was fighting for its life. Oh, there's so much to look at. I okay. I swear. Are sand carps time based? I thought they were all day, any day, but. seems a little weird that three times in a row I seemingly have found the uh, scorpion carp. Okay, Willie, I am calling hacks on your challenge. I'm calling hacks right now. Willie! Screw it. I'll come back. It's a brand new day. Come back when you've proven yourself in the caverns. Enjoy your lurk! Hey there, Crystal. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild Challenge booth. Every day we'll have a pair of challenges for you to choose from. Complete one and the guild will reward you with a bounty of calico eggs. Kitsune, how are you doing? Imagine muffled underwater panic screaming. <laughs> Once you've selected a challenge, you won't be able to change your decision, so choose carefully. Feeling the Adventurer's Spirit. Good. Here are today's challenges. Reach level 30? Of the Skull Cavern? Excuse me? What is this? Like 12 Omni Geodes? Bear with me, I need to like breathe. Oh, I think you can warp home from here if you wanted to. Uh, greetings friend, care for a test of knowledge. If you care to answer my, or if you can answer my questions correctly, you'll earn a prize. What do you say? Sure. Excellent, now for the first question. Who runs the animal shop in Pelican Town, Barney? Correct. What season does artichoke grow in? I think it's spring. What do you guys think? It's spring, am I right? Or fall. You thought fall, but I might be wrong. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna go with probably what you're saying. Waking up to surviving a stream till I gotta get myself ready for the work for the day. I hope that you have a good work day. Let's try fall. No, you were right. You were right. Uh, in what season can you catch salmon? I want to say fall again, but I'm not entirely positive if it's any season or not. Um, and of course, we could just look this up on the wiki, but it's just kind of fun to actually have to guess. <laughs> Is it spring? I apparently which is when they go out the river for reproduction well maybe it's any season then technically 
fall. You know what? Let's see. No? Okay, we're good. Uh, where might you catch the lava eel? I think that's mine level 100. Correct. Very good. I'm impressed with your knowledge, friend. Here is your prize. 50 calico eggs. Nice. Hi. What do you have? Spring onion, sweet seed, shrimp, walleye, mead, artichoke dip, grape starter, pumpkin, weird table. Salmon was fall. Salmon was fall, after all. Uh, okay, so I think this is where you can trade your eggs. We can get a mummy mask, mystery boxes, bows, strawberry seeds, mega bombs. Some, like, desert-based furniture. Woodcutters Weekly. Okay. I kind of want the mummy mask, if I'm honest. It is fall, yeah. Quick Nova, how are you? And random, welcome on in. Going into the caves can be really dangerous. I hope there are no accidents, but still, I'll be here all day just in case. So I guess if you die, maybe you'll pop up back there. I don't know if there's anything different in here. Looks pretty straightforward to me. Uh, after a long dark winter, this festival is a good way to revive everyone. Jas is running a stall. Uh, I'm sorry, but my selection isn't very good this year. Mixed seeds, flower seeds. Cool, so there's some different things you can spend the eggs on. Spent 10 minutes chatting with students about video games. Oh, I love that. Wallpaper, ancient doll, fairy seeds. Ancient fall takes 12 days to produce a mysterious flower, assorted colors, and rabbit's foot. And magic rock candy. Um, are fairy seeds a normal fall flower? I can't remember. This weather is just perfect. I can't tell where my skin ends and the air begins. I was just wondering, if I lived here instead of Stardew Valley, would my art look different? Mm, the toe feel is milky, but with plenty of body still a bit mellower than back home. The what feel? Oh, pardon me, I've become something of a sand connoisseur. <laughs> Anakin wouldn't like you. Uh, the race is currently in progress. Let's talk later. Oh, I guess I was in the middle of a race earlier by accident. You smell something good. It's the coconut oil I rubbed all over my skin. I'm do I'm going all in with the desert feeling. It's probably the busiest time of the year for me. It's nice to be able to see everyone. Since your fashion doesn't quite match your inner feeling, just step in the box and we'll fix you up. Okay, before we continue, let me visualize your aura to see what kind of style will make you happiest. The box is marked fragile. That's pretty correct. <laughs> okay, I've got it. Coming in, so don't be alarmed. Let's trim this a little here. Oh, I'm scared. Oops, sorry if that tickles. Here, catch. There. Yes, I can feel it. Your inner self and outer self are now in perfect alignment. I can't wait for you to see the new you. I'm scared. Oh! Actually, this isn't bad. You're looking great! Come back another day and we'll put together a fresh new look for you. I look cute as heck! I'm not really into skirts, but I'm here for it. Suspicious guy. Eyes on the race, kid. We could talk later. He, wait. Sandy? Oh, this is my first time meeting her. <laughs> A customer. I didn't lose it. No, it went into my inventory. Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look like you're the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. And the bus line to Stardew Valley is back in service. You, you were just outside. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, and now she's not in here. Weird. But no, um, 
I still have all my clothes. We're all good. I might actually swap back into my pants, though. I'm, just, I'm not a skirt person. There we go. Now I feel better. Uh, hey, Crystal, check out my cactus. I'm trying to think of a name for him. I'm just hanging out with this bird. She seems to like me. Well, you fixed up the bus. This is really fun. Wish me very hello. How are you? Welcome on in. Um, yes, you look like someone who would appreciate what I'm offering. Are you ready to welcome a new cactus into your life? Um, yeah. Great, let's see. Did that cactus just bark at me? This one's a little shy, but I know you'll become friends in no time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe place this decoration. Okay, but why did it bark at me? I found calico eggs in the sand with a dig spa. That was nice. Um, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna forego Skull Cavern today because I am simply not prepared. Um, I'm gonna try to catch the sand carp. And uh, tomorrow, because this is a three day long event, I'm hoping I can come back. And go into the Skull Cavern, I might steal my sword. We'll see how that goes. Okay, this is a lot easier. Here we go. Depends on the week, but you try to be organized, you see me here. Go for it, will do. Um, for anyone who's curious, by the way, uh, Mike and I had to look into this because we didn't know. If you're playing a multiplayer save file and someone drops out, they don't want to play anymore, they can't play anymore for whatever reason, uh, but they had stuff in their inventory that you need, uh, you can go to Mayor Lewis's house and there's a lost and found box that will have the option to take the other player's inventory out. Um, which is obviously very, very handy in our situation. I try to be organized, but only for certain things. One more, please. There we go. Oh, I got a geode from that egg. Or from that chest, sorry. Oh, you got an exciting catch, aren't they? Here's 25 calico eggs for your reward. Okay. Um, is the race still ongoing? Oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, guess the winner and received some fabulous prizes. Okay. Who do you think will win? S Cargo, Cactus Crawler, or King Sting Chat? Who do we think will win? I leave this up to you guys. S Cargo. All right. S Cargo. Let's do it. S Cargo. Okay, now sit back and enjoy the race. Yes. The race. Oh, oh god, okay. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh! S Cargo, you can do it! You can do it, buddy! <laughs> Look at him, he's in second! You can make it! I believe! Oh god, he's in last. You can do it! <laughs> Go, Escargo! Oh, oh, oh! There's like some off-roading here? Jeez. I was wondering how they- if they just like turn around. It- it is a snail, cause like, Escargo, right? 
Oh god. Yeah. Well, now the moment you've all been waiting for. The race's winner is King Sting. <laughs> Better luck next time. Okay. I wonder if there's some rhyme or reason to this. Who should we go for this time, chat? Who should we go for? Should we go all in on King Sting from last time? Do we think he's gonna do it twice in a row? What do y'all think? Or... Cactus Crawler? Cactus Crawler, you think, affection? Let's see. Cactus is what you're thinking? I'm too attached to escargo now. <laughs> Tomberry. Alright, let's see. Get set. I didn't milk the cows today. Oh! Oh, look at him go! Oh, wait, no. Keep going. You've got this, buddy. I believe. This is a lot closer this time. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Do the sick flip off this tarp thing. Oh no, 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 you can do it. Keep going. <gasps> oh, oh, wait, wait. <gasps> Are we winning? <gasps> I think we're winning, chat. Yeah. Race's winner is Cactus Crawler! Congratulations, here's your prize. We got 20 calico eggs from that. So it seems like so far, I'm assuming the um uh, the night or the uh the caves have probably the best reward. Um uh, but this guy gave me the most overall. Be ne back next year for another challenge. Oh, I wonder if he's not going to be available tomorrow. Uh, I can send you home. Yes, please. What did the card lady have? Nothing too interesting, unfortunately. Nothing too interesting. There we go. Okay. Let's sort out our uh, our inventory a little bit here. Um, not selling those. Selling these. Okay, so. Uh, I'll put away our clothes. We're gonna keep the cactus eggs on us, and... I know, we have a lot of mystery boxes. I need to hand them in, actually. Uh, our new cactus friend, you can stay in the kitchen. Oh, I just realized he has eyes. And a nose. I kind of don't know how I feel about you. I'm kind of not certain. Fun event though. They added like just a lot of nice little updates to this game. That was cool. It did bark at us, yeah. Okay, so it's raining today. Not that I had to water anything in the first place. Keep these up here. Um Oh, I have 13 more days for that one? Heck, I have so much time. Never mind. I was really worried we weren't gonna get that one done in time. Okay, tomorrow's a lightning storm. Today is a good luck day. Uh, our crops are good. Linus taught me to make a fish taco. George taught me fried eel. Emily sent me cloth, I think. 
Let me make sure I actually take care of the cows today. <laughs> um, I think this is all inside. That was loud. Sword. Yes, 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 yes. I will grab that. Uh, where's the milker? Bear with. I have no idea where it went. It's okay. It's all good, though. Actually, wait. Did you have your sword in here? You have this sword and this one, but I guess you have it on you, so I'll have to go take that. Um. You know what? In the meantime, because it takes Pam a while anyway. Um. We can't go into Lewis's until 9.30. I think Pam doesn't reach the bus stop until around 9 anyway. Um, so let's run around the valley, collect leaks, get our salmonberry game on. Oh. Oh, it was an egg. <laughs> there we go. Everyone's happy. We're all good. We're all fed. Life is, is good. I am also going to grab um, some cactus out of here, and that is primarily for the skull cavern. I'm gonna leave my fishing rod on me because we might need it for uh, stuff at the market, but everything else goes. Let's go take a look around, shall we? Hey, you derived. How are you? Look, come on in. I'll leave these all for now. I'll come back later. Uh, oh, yeah, look, it actually did turn red. I guess he's happy that I uh, I give him the, the lava quartz. crime because I also want to play Stardew. Oh, but you're busy. I'm so sorry about that. I hope that you find some time soon. Mike and I were trying to look into like ways of like copying a save file down for Stardew so that like I could have like my on-stream save file with you guys but we could also continue playing offline on our own and it was a whole thing. We've been enjoying this playthrough a lot. There we go. I actually needed this for community center bundle, I think? Uh, so I think that's done too. Yeah, Mike figured it out. Um, there's ways and means. It's a bit weird that there isn't a way to do that within the game itself. Okay, so that is now open. Still in your Animal Crossing era? I think after I finish all my work today, which is going to take me a while, but when I eventually get there, uh, I'm going to play some more Rebirth after stream. I would usually play Minecraft, but I don't tend to play Minecraft when Mike's not on. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. I didn't pick up this yesterday. Uh, upcoming promotion, think of offering some high quality vegetables at a slight premium. No where I could, a thrifty shop owner might find 25 gold star vegetables. Um... Weirdly enough, I might just try to get the bone one. You have? I mean, we have the potatoes growing, right? I'll get back into Stardew when all dies down, knowing me. At least everything will be updated on the wiki then. Yeah, you'll be able to look up everything. Maybe I will go for this one. I think we can do it. Oh, 
I wonder if the challenges are going to be the same at the uh, the desert place. Retrieve items from offline farmhands. Mike. Um, oh, here's the milk bucket. I'm taking that too. Everything else I'm going to let you keep, hun. I just need the sword. And the milk pail. Nothing yet. I'm going to ignore that quest for now because we got far too much to do today. Oh, can you actually see them all heading for the desert? That's interesting. That's a cool little detail. Okay, for now, ticket, you can go in there. Uh... Say hi to our cows. Iridium large milk, though. Wow. Recycling. I think I finished most of our recycling last time because I didn't know what else to do. Cool. All right. And I might also. And eh, no, we'll be fine with the cactus. I think famous last words, but Let's see how we do. <laughs> Oh, am I driving myself? I guess I'm driving myself today. <laughs> That's fine. <gasps> oh! Oh, now that's interesting. Okay. I don't know if y'all seen this just now. These are different. There's a chicken, a snail, and some sort of rat in a candy bar wrapper, it looks like. <laughs> I don't know what that's meant to be. Oh, it's some- it's a horse in a boot? A mini one? I don't know what I'm looking at, but okay. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some food from the weird guy again. Uh, give me rare fruit with pungent garlic. Just because this gave me a buff yesterday. I call it warrior smoothie and joy. That gave me luck and attack. Okay. Is this the same as it was yesterday? Oh, just catch a scorpion carp today? Okay. A oh, robin's- Oh, there's different people here! Hey, Crystal, we're just chewing the fat over here. I don't see these guys very often, even though we're neighbors. Let's see, bold look in your eye. How about a challenge? Descend the skull cavern and slay 10 purple slimes reach level 30. I'll do the 10 purple slimes, I guess. I just have to hope I find them. I hit Sharide underneath the boss. Oh my god, Linus. Do you have the same things as yesterday? You do. Okay. Um, do you have the same things as yesterday? You don't, interesting. Cranberry, all right. Okay, let's just head down. My first time in the Skull Caverns chat. Oh, oh, what was that? Welcome to Skull Cavern Challenge. Calico and mysterious uh, statues have appeared throughout the caverns. Your egg reading determines the likelihood of finding Calico eggs. Egg reading increases every five levels down, as well as wherever you activate a Calico statue. But be careful, the Calico statues will also invoke very strange and dangerous effects. Visit guilds or receive prizes for achieving a high egg rating. Cool. Welcome on in. Yeah, this new event is very cool. Question mark? Huh. 
All right, purple slimes, huh? Does the mini ones count, or is it only the big ones? Let's see. Uh, that counted. That counted as multiples, so. Also, diamond. Two diamonds. Heck yeah. So technically, I don't have to go down too far if I don't want to risk it. I just got some calico eggs from killing those guys. No, no. <laughs> oh, I think that's the statue. Go on, ghosty. Shoo. Shoo. I want to touch the statue, but I don't want you to be close by when I do it. Thank you. No effect. Plus one. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't have bombs on me for these guys. I did not think this through. Oh, we have lots of bombs at home, and I know that we do. Okay, I'm gonna hope to find the stairs somewhere up here. Oh, more diamond? Don't mind if I do. Nice. Oh, dear. Our clauses are here. <laughs> That did a lot of damage, also. Uh, I need just a couple more for slimes here, so... Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat, we're good, we're good. Oh, praise be to the cactus. for my farm. That's nice. Ten calico eggs. Thank you. So far these haven't been too terribly dangerous. Now I'm curious friends and maybe someone in here knows already, maybe not. If you get down, was it floor 100? To see Mr. Key during this event, is there a different dialogue? stairs, please. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, there's my purple slime. Oh, I dropped diamond. Um, okay, so I guess we just gotta go back up and get our reward. I'm just gonna polish off this floor. Maybe I'll go down to floor 5 as well, just because it said every fly fl 5 floors you get an increase. One of those moods where I want a snack, but I know dinner will be done. Oh, man. Tell me about it. I hate those moods. I don't know what it was the other day, but I was, like, hungry all whole day. No matter what I ate, I was just like, I could just eat forever. I don't think I was necessarily bored, either. Okay, so I just put my egg level up to four. Cool. More bats. And now we're up to five. Okay, this is addicting. <laughs> this is very, very cool. I should probably just go home while I'm still alive. Okay. Oh. Come here. There we go. 
Are we good? I think we're good. I'm happy with that. I reached floor six. That makes me happy. <laughs> I don't need to go down any further. Thank you. I did it. Uh, submit highest egg rating to Gil. Egg rating five. Five. That's not too impressive, but at least you had the gumption to try. Here's a little something. Ten calico eggs. <laughs> Thanks, Gil. Uh, and I also got a coffee, apparently. Very good. There'll be more challenges tomorrow, so take it easy and get some rest. Cool. Alright, give me that mummy mask. I feel like this is a waste, but I really want it. So, I'm buying it. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. I love it. Okay. Let me do the, the trivia thing again, because that was really fun. Uh, enjoy the eggs, my friend. Oh, I guess he only does it once, literally. Having Crystalception, watching the newest ACNL video. I hope you enjoy. Oh, sorry, I got in the middle of that race. I'm impressed with how well trained these little racers are. Thousands of years ago, this place is the homeland of an ancient civilization. I wonder what they were like. Oh, this is possible because you fixed the bus, Crystal. I can't thank you enough. Hey, Katie, you taking the day off? It's nice to kick back every once in a while, isn't it? Oh! Wow, uh, Emily? Girl, calm down. Calm, calm down. Intriguing, okay. Um, yeah. Cool. I don't have enough for that. Pierre's sign? <gasps> I can buy 200 calico eggs for 150. Wait. Is it 150 per calico? It's probably 150 per calico egg, isn't it? Oh. Oh, Pierre, you devious businessman. Get the heck out. Huh. Yeah, I'm not wasting my money on you, sir. I didn't miss the diving either, yeah. Can I have another free cactus? That has a little guy doing and he was okay. Are you are you good, Haley? Haley is glistening in the sunlight. It's 8.50 in the evening. Is she moonbathing? Interesting, there's tiny iridium flakes on your pickaxe. You've been going to the desert caves, huh? I did, actually. Uh, we all think we saw everything? Oh, is this the weird guy again? I can't, like, interact with him. Outfit? Do you think I should do the outfit again? I don't know if it'll work because she's at the stall. It's probably the busiest time of year for me. That's my cue. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Knock, knock, honey. I'm coming in. Fair warning, friends. We do have an ad break starting in about a minute, just so you know. I've been live already for an hour. That was fun. I hope you're as happy with your new look as I am. Not half bad, sweetie. Come back soon. I'll have a new look waiting for you. Eh. What is this, like a little school outfit? Oh, it's a sailor shirt, okay. No. I want, I want my outfit back, thank you. I like that one, actually. Oui. Oh, hi, sir. Oui. 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 <laughs> sailor Simply, how are you, Rosie? Okay, let's uh let's go back. Can I just drive back on my own? Yes, I can. Mummy driving a bus coming through. Oh, I forgot it was raining. Doing good, doing good. Mike's on his way home. Uh I'm enjoying some Stardew. We had a lucky day in game, so I'm pretty happy. Oh, 
but that was a lot of diamond. Pickled potato, oh. Oh no. Hi. What's that trailer? Uh, so I was playing multiplayer with my partner, Mike. Um, but he had to go home for the week, so now it's just me. It's just his trailer. Or his, like, the multiplayer house. Oh right, I forgot we put kegs in there. Yeah, it's a new, uh, a new look. BMA, thank you so very much! Happy three years. For the, Luck tap press <laughs> for the three year 36 month resub. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I hope you're having a great day. And uh, welcome on in. Ollie, do you need to sleep right in front of the dresser? <laughs> there we go. Thank you all so much for putting all the hype and the love in chat as well, by the way. It's a nice opportunity for y'all to kind of spam some emotes, get out of your system, you know? You're a little sick, but otherwise, okay. I hope you feel fully better soon. Okay, so. Let's go to bed. We have one more day of the event lab. This has been a really fun one been enjoying it a lot. I also really appreciate the mummy. Like, mask. <laughs> also... For anyone who is joining us question of the day, would you consider yourself more messy or more organized just in general? Could be with your work, school, your room, your home, your computer, <laughs> your phone. I try to keep things organized, but I more often than not fail, so Oh, strawberry day. Don't mind if I do. Messy. Messy as well. I really enjoy the feeling of having things organized, it just makes me happy, and I can't really focus and relax if things aren't organized. There we go. That sweet, sweet strawberry harvest. I'm pretty organized, but not in my personal space. That's fair. So he wanted vegetables specifically, so strawberries aren't going to count. I'm assuming we're just selling them? Uh, it hurts my heart a little bit, but it's okay. Apartment's tidy, but my office. <laughs> Same thing for my classroom. Everything is well placed, but not on my work desk. That's fair. I think it's important to like be able to keep the space around you organized, even if your own space isn't. Just for like others' enjoyment, you know. I did not realize how many birds we had now, jeez. Oh, wait. Um, I might start saving the- oh wait, did I already finish befriending Sebastian? I did, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna start saving them for Sebastian, but no need. Uh, okay. I guess we're good to go back into the desert for the final day. I 
I forgot the villagers lock you in their house and don't let you leave. Wait, what? <laughs> you mean in, um, in ACNL? When they invite you over? Really? You're in my way? I stole the bus. Screw you, Billy. Okay. We're here early. Let me see what sort of goodies we can get today. Um, let's do cave loaf with a cherry syrup today. I call it Crystal Cake. Oh, that's my name. Alright, that gave us... 3 plus mining, 1 plus luck. Today you want us to catch... A fish swallowed my rare golden bobber. There's 30 eggs for whoever returns it. Oh. That sounds cool. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I'm in Raymond's house and I tried to leave and he says you can't. Uh, can't you stay a bit longer and not let me leave? It's been 10 minutes. I think in that case I just want you to talk to them more. I believe. Cam, how are you? Welcome on in for anyone who's just joining us. We are checking out the final day of the new spring event in Stardew. Um, we couldn't unlock this one year one in time so we had to experience it year two. Oh, now it's open. <laughs> I got here early. Just had to get through the Operation Beach Hunt and Persona 3 Royal. Yeah, they changed some things, but it's still cringe. Oh no, is it? Awkward. I wonder what this bobber is. Sandfish, no golden bobber. Hey, Anki as well. Got a Georgia Cola. Oh. It's gonna be on a hard to catch fish, isn't it? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Please don't be on the on the scorpion carp. Lurkin vibe and I appreciate that. I hope you enjoy your lurk. Sandfish, just normal. I'm half expecting it to be kind of like the tickets you can get during the trout derby, maybe. But it might be in a treasure chest too. So far. Um, you know what? Dare I say? I'm half wondering if he actually lost in the water. He doesn't have anything else to say. Wouldn't it be interesting if it was somewhere else? Those all look the same. Um, oh, rabbit's foot. I don't think 
likely needed that for anything, but I'm just going to take a quick mo mosey around here. Just in case. Exotic Palace, green tea, tea saplings. Oh, the prismatic shard. <laughs> Very tempting. Uh, you've been watching these races. Pretty exciting, huh? Say, I got a little proposition for you. Just pick a racer and their next race will be a real stinker. Catch my drift? It'll cost you one calico egg or a small price to pay for the edge you'll get. Oh. Oh. Okay, so who's gonna be the unlucky racer? Oh, welcome on in. We're totally not gambling or anything. <laughs> Farmer Gata, how are you today? Welcome on in. Uh, Tony is a well. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you had an amazing stream. What were you guys up to today? Um, make Speed Rooster go slow. Speed Rooster, sure, sure. Good luck, kid. I'm gonna bet on S Cargo. Actually messy, but part of owning a house has really taught me organization and its benefits. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. All right, S Cargo, I know you got it, buddy. Event redeems in Minecraft. It was interesting. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so very much for the raid once again. Y'all would like to get up and do things post raid. Please feel more than free. But if you want to hang out here too, uh, we're just enjoying the Stardew Valley 1.6 update. We're checking out the brand new event in spring. Oh, there they go. Okay, so speed chicken should go slow. Apparently. Let's see here. Oh. Okay. Now I'm wondering if he's gonna like somehow sabotage the race or something. Or if I just, you know, lost a calico egg. <laughs> S-Cargo, you can do it! I believe! And this chicken's really fast. I think I was... I was duped. I think I've been duped by a man. <laughs> it was neck and neck, sir. It was not. Let me go talk to this man. I need to have words. Need my services? It'll cost you just one calico. No thank you. Screw you, buddy. Fun fact, a cloud weighs around a million tons. Oh my. Super Saiyan, how are you doing? Thank you so very much for the 48 month resub. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome on in. I'm just gonna check what the finding challenges are. And then we'll head on in. Or just keep fishing. Slay 10 purple slimes again. Reach level 30. I can do the purple slimes again. That was pretty fast. Hopefully I can find his bobber tonight. Let's see, we last week helping friends. His home burned down. Yeah, I hope that uh, they're able to get themselves situated again. He's not letting you leave. I wonder if your game- I don't think your game would bug out like that, but you never know. Silver Palm, welcome on in. How are you? I'm moving up to Edmonton, so hopefully everything lines up nicely. Fingers crossed. Come on, stairs. I don't think I checked my luck this morning. I just don't remember it being like that that long that they make you stay. But it has been a while since I actually 
went over to a villager house, so. There was my ladder. Just gonna touch the statue here, see what we get. And calico eggs, nice. Oh, okay, that hurt just a little bit, that's okay. Thought I had more time. Oh, fools emotes all around. <laughs> oh, that's something else, by the way, if you guys weren't here for it earlier. Um, you don't have to worry, this is an April Fool's safe stream. I'm not going to be doing anything. I have no plans at all. Um, so, just so y'all know, I'm not really big on the event. Hey, Faye, how are you? <clears throat> Game, could I have a ladder, please? Just a small one. <laughs> It's not showing bear twitch TV emails. Yeah, sometimes it does that. Sometimes it just is like, no. I don't feel like it. Oh, I found iridium. That's fun. Not what I'm here for, but we only need five more anyway. This is a call out post. <laughs> it's just curiosity, I promise. Okay, that was floor five, so we went up a level. Got a calico egg for killing that guy. Hey, Isabel, not too much. How are you? More monsters, but we went up a level again. Incredibly organized, even my cupboard of soap and tea is organized. I love that. Organization pleases me. Oh, that was like an egg bundle. Nice. Okay, it's getting late. I don't think we're gonna be able to find that bobber. I just need slime. Soup, not soap. See, I thought that maybe you've gotten into like soap cutting or soap making or something. I was just accepting it. I do house chores today. Been putting off. I hope it goes well. Okay. Let me jump in. All five floors. Cactus. I've heard, I've heard that silver pump. I have enough hobbies, I don't think I could manage more. Oh, here we go, that's what I'm looking for. all the ones I need to kill. Nice. That was a pretty good trip. Uh, so I got to a rating of 5 again. Not too impressive apparently, but we got 10 calico eggs out of it. And some coffee. Did I'm impressed that's it for this year. Um Okay, I'm gonna fish a little bit more. We can teleport back quickly. 
Made some cold processed soap once, like oils. Chemical process that makes soap soap. It was so fun. It sounds like an interesting uh, process. I don't know if I'd have anywhere to do it here. I was thinking the other day. Ooh. Got a secret note. Um, oh, there's a picture of Barney and Jast. I'd love to get into a new hobby that's something a little less based on screens. Because, like, my big thing is video games, right? But I don't really know what to do. It's hard to store the curing stuff for six weeks without being disturbed. Yeah, that's the thing. And like the only other kind of like hobby thing I've even thought about is like uh, crocheting or knitting or something. But like again, Ollie loves string. He goes after shoelaces pretty frequently. Okay, I'm gonna head back. I'm sorry, Willie, you're on your own. <laughs> are done today too but I'm not gonna have time to shove stuff in them tonight I don't think but I can at least pick them up you got yourself some coffee play I think I could use an energy drink this morning I don't have one on me right now You know what? I'm going to bed late anyway. Mochi donuts. Oh, for breakfast? That sounds really good. Coloring books are good. Word finds. Reading. Making cat toys. I used to carve designs and soap bars. Lots of hobbies out there. I didn't even consider coloring books. That sounds very chill. Maybe I'll look into that. Oh, that was very late. <laughs> that was super close to passing out. Okay, here we go. Back to normal schedule. Um, We gotta get the leaks for George. We gotta get leaks. That is our, our goal at the moment. Um, it's gonna be back to raining tomorrow. It's a bad day today. It's Pam's birthday. <laughs> Puzzling, yeah. Hey, Crystal, good morning. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. She's not commenting on my face. <laughs> So, you've been here a while and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? Uh, I think you sent me some the other day. Well, do you know you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Oh, thank you. To start tailoring, you'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Experiment to see what unique styles are out there. The new one today. Oh, Silver Bob, go see. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited for you. Okay, thankfully I didn't eat up a lot of our cactus. Hi, Maccas, how are you? These. 
we actually did have some cloth here. You did change your color, yeah. Oh, no, no. Not opening that. Where are my chickens doing? And my duck. And my void chicken. Is it April Fool's Day related for the RuneScape skill? <laughs> Start is going good. We just got to experience the brand new event for uh, spring for the first time and it was really fun. There was a lot to do and I don't think I saw everything that you could do. Okay, I need to sort out the cows at some point soon here. I'm sorry, wait, are you saying that you have a mushroom? Oh, I didn't know Mike put that there. I guess. tools here again. Organize those. So, usually carry those around. This comes with me. That, that, and finally that. There we go. Are these done? Oh! Three barbs done. Okay, so we got eight spaces. Uh, do I have anything we can plant? We do. This is so bad potential new skill, but I was also very concerned about it because I had heard nothing, which is a great sign. Or isn't a great sign for quality. Uh, oh, I need a bigger, bigger chest here. Jeez. I'll put this in here for now. Promptly forget about it. Oh, a massive block Instagram on Twitter right now. The video I sent in the group chat is ruffling some feathers in the fandom. Oh, dear. I I have not watched yet. I wasn't sure if it was entirely safe for, for someone who hasn't finished the main story. <laughs> yeah. Lots of uh, resin and sap and stuff. I can say what is specifically what's annoying people isn't a spoiler. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, alright, now we got beehives here. Our blue jazz honey, making that sweet, sweet honey money. And I think that's all of our farm chores for this morning. That is gonna earn us. Nice chunk of change. Um, let me check on the greenhouse, because I haven't been up there in a couple days. And then we'll head out and we'll kind of forage around. I want to get to level 10 foraging. Okay, things are looking good in here. Nothing's done yet. Oh, 
Oh, uh, lava eel row. Yes. Okay. All right, Mr. Raccoon friend, how are you doing? I'm a little worried we broke this guy. Um, because I still have a quest saying, hey, you should fix his house when we already have. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. I've almost been convinced to get this on PC. I mean, you should. Sardi's great, especially if you enjoy your mods and stuff. And Makas, I know you like cursed things. I'm just saying, you can definitely have some cursed mods. <laughs> I know for a fact that there are cursed mods for Stardew. <laughs> oh, I think that was level 10. Finally, geez, that takes forever. Too bad it's the last day of Sandberry season, I think. Most cursed mod I've seen for Stardew is Blonde Leah. I've seen everyone is Pam. I think it was. I think it was Pam. And I thought that was kind of funny. There's also, like, you can marry pretty much anyone via modding as well. Hi, Dre. Let me pause. Thank you so much, Kim. How are you? I hope you've had a, a good weekend. Yeah, I bet I saw that one as well. Okay, let's go take a round. Uh, run around, look for leaks for George. my mother to take myself out for lunch or if I should just buy stuff to go make my own lunch or both. Both. Both is good. Is that what it was? Awesome. I'll have to check that out. Oh. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. We're not meant to exit your house right at the moment. Um, okay, let's see here. What am I doing? George, right? Oh, and quests. Uh, seaweed for Haley. We didn't see what exactly. They got the right idea. Table full of safe. Thankfully, nobody's done pranks in my direction. I'm a very much don't mess with me or I will cry type. Oh no, same here. It's exactly why I'm just not really big on the day in general. Don't want to make anyone else feel bad. Okay, there we go. So if we see Haley out and about. Because Lord knows I don't know her schedule. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I'll be quiet now to get groceries. Aldi has shit phone reception. Oh, no worries. I've heard some interesting theories about that. I don't know if it's so much theories as fact, um, but the idea that like grocery stores are almost kind of like casinos in a weird way, 
in that they usually don't have outside windows. There usually is no clocks or time. They usually have bad phone service that you can't figure out. You know, there isn't that connection to the outside world, so you're more likely to stay and shop for longer. And it's, it is actually true. All of my uh, local grocery stores have horrible phone reception. Bitch, you're two dogs. Oh, I love that. That's That's fine by me. Yeah, I heard Pokemon Sleep World Championships. That's funny. He saved and quit because he wasn't letting me leave. Yeah, I've never seen them hold you hostage for that long. It's weird. Hey, Beetle. How are you today? Okay, so Apple, here we go. This one I have. This is for Linus. That got us. Oh, more tappers. Nice. I actually really need that. Uh, iridium bar, and I just need apples, which is frustrating. And that's the very last thing we'll need for the, uh, the community center. Now here's my dilemma though, chat, right? I'm pretty sure you unlock Ginger Island as you finish the community center, but Mike hasn't really been to Ginger Island yet. So it's like, I want to unlock it, but I also want to wait for him. I guess we can work on other stuff around the valley in the meantime. Oh yeah, to the time change. You guys just had that like the other day, right? And Nor, welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. Hope that your Monday, your April 1st is treating you well. Okay, no, no luck. Oh wait, there we go. There's one leak. Yeah, just one though. I just need one more. Plus an extra one for uh, Evelyn again. Okay, this is filling in quite nicely up here. I had to really think so we didn't mess up Poppy's schedule even though she's due this month. Still call her Poppy. Oh, I think you always will. She's still the baby, you know? But the last time I needed a... Uh... Oh, for the minecarts! Nice! Yeah, the minecarts are really handy. Feed, so I'm gonna do the lurking thing. No worries. I hope your food is good, Kim. Enjoy. She's a hairy baby bug getting her room tomorrow, so she'll be less hairy. Oh, no worries. I'm assuming you meant dirty, yeah. I, I don't know, when you say grooming and less hairy, I assume she's just getting a haircut along with it, you know? And some some doggos, like, you know, especially in summer, they need their coats cut short because they, they overheat, so... I was not gonna judge. <laughs> Made sense either way. Both dirty and hairy has a good play in the garden this morning. Call my 15 year old doggo poppy still more specifically chubby poppy since she's fat. <laughs> oh, more to love. Oh. 
Okay, uh, I got some tappers, which is actually good because I needed more this morning. This one. Two. Uh, and that one, I guess. Okay, what other stuff am I carrying on me? Got trash. Uh, I got row. I don't know if we're keeping it, so I'm gonna put it away in here. It's always Mike's project, not mine. My dog is five and he's rather fat too. He's a spoiled springer. I think a lot of animals just go through like a, you know, when they reach their middle years, they get kind of a little bit chubbier. Um, all of my cats did that and then they, they all slimmed out as they entered their later years, so. With Ollie, um, because he was having health issues last year, he's put on all of the weight again. Um, and it's like, okay, you know, you're not overweight or anything, but you're you're in a healthy range and I'm happy about that. Even if it's on the heavier side of said healthy range, we're pretty happy with it. There we go. Jeez, busy day though, right? I think tomorrow I might spend some time trying to rearrange our farm a bit. I forgot about Pam's birthday, but... There we go. Uh, forage items are always highest quality. Nice. Give her people food. Oh no. <laughs> you know, Ollie doesn't usually get people food unless we give him a little bit of chicken or turkey, but even then, he doesn't usually eat it. It's very rainy spring, isn't it? Okay, bad luck day today. Uh, no one's birthday today. I'm gonna get one of our cats to gain some weight because she had issues with her thyroid. The issue uh, we have is our other cat is fat and keeps stealing her food. Yeah, um, I think my parents had a similar thing happen. They were older cats and it turned into just having to have them have separate feeding rooms. And they learned to eat in one sitting versus like, you know, kind of like grazing like some cats do. I know it's hard though, especially if, if they're pickier eaters or if they, they aren't used to eating in one go. Like Ollie, if that ever happened with him, he's very much a nibbler. He'll kind of nibble across the entire day. He doesn't just sit and eat and eat and eat. Yeah, hopefully not too long before she starts gaining again. Well, fingers crossed for her. My cat's is rather small. Her brother is as light as a balloon. Yeah, we had one one small little lady named Tika. She never really gained. She was just kind of a small lady in general. Like, just very dainty. Didn't really ever get too chubby. Never got too thin either. Just was light. <laughs> Yeah, Kiara, Kiara was the one who'd sneeze in faces constantly, dear lord. She had a thing against my face. Okay, so I'm thinking about putting the animals like somewhere down here maybe. Kind of trying to make best use of the land that we have. And like all the potential grass. Of course there's no grass growing there right now. Um. <laughs> Or I guess down here somewhere, maybe? Just this corner? Could also be good. Just their metabolism, yeah. Leave the little size difference between my kittens from the same litter. Puxley's 18 pounds. Wednesday is only nine. All oh, those names are cute though. Um, okay, so moving, moving. Let's see what we need to do for today. We 
gonna take out a whole lot of fodder here so that I can do this. Without wasting any grass. There we go, just to be on the safe side. And then if I use this corner over here as like, you know, the bottom area, uh, I don't have to fence in as much. that there's a leak up here. <laughs> we only need one more. This quest has been very tedious. Okay, construct farm buildings, move buildings. Alright, so bear with me here. I'm gonna use mouse and keyboard for this. i move you guys. Why not? Something like that, I think. I don't know why I have the, the urge to like, click and drag to move my screen when it's most definitely not that. Okay, and just keep lined up. There we go. So I think the only time we're gonna have maybe an issue of an animal getting out of their pen is if the duck decides to go into the pond, but honestly, not too fussed. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'll use a fence in here. I'll have a path coming along from over here, probably. I'll move that while I have the chance. Uh, let's see, where do I want to put this? Maybe up in this corner for now. Uh, and then I'll also have a path coming down to around here, probably. So maybe you're going to move there instead. <laughs> I know it's a lot of rearranging. It looks kind of weird right now, but... Um, yeah, cool. I love how easy it is to do that. It, it takes a lot of pressure off placing things. All right, uh, I'm just going to scan around for a leak really quickly. With Atlas writing absolutely amazing romantic coded male relationships, but then going, Nope, they're just bros. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm hoping I have two wishes for the next persona mainline persona, and that's being able to choose your character a little bit more, being able to, to decide who they are, uh, and then having whatever relationship you want that character to have with any gender um, NPC. but I guess we'll see. Oh, this looks so weird and empty. <laughs> okay, so there's our fence. You might be like, Crystal, what are you planning to do with this area? This is actually where I was planning to put the beehives. <laughs> uh, but I might need some more lightning posts. Or lightning rods. Uh, okay. 
I need fences. It's okay. At least let me be a girl like in Persona 3 portable, right? Okay, so I'd say for now that's probably plenty of space on this side. If need be, I'll move this back. Uh, I might also make another gate. Somewhere in that area. Hi, Squish! Doing good! How are you today? We're just, uh, finally kind of reorganizing where our animals are. Kind of left them in their default positions from the very beginning. I'm gonna need four of those. I'll need another gate. And I'm gonna need some more paths here. Thankfully, we have a lot of stone to do it with. Trying to decide what you're gonna do today. Oh, you have a nice fun day. Cool, cool. I think this is plenty of grass for the amount of animals we currently have. Um, and then I'm gonna have paths here that aren't gonna be too obtrusive. for now. Okay, now I have to figure out, because like this is like a nice spot of land. We might eventually plant a garden or something in there. Also hydrate, thank you. Nice, that was almost the perfect amount of paths, too. We were accidentally up at four on Minecraft last night. <laughs> I hope you had fun, at least. Yeah, Minecraft can do that to you. I thought I counted that out. I did not. I forgot what side the door is on for the barn. Okay. Um. What am I doing? Paths. Yes. And then I had like the initial idea because eventually you have like a lot of makers and stuff to put like you know all the eggs and, and mayo and cheese machines over here but it is very far away from the barn at the moment so i don't know if they'll stay but like at least for now we'll see also i'm just gonna put down lightning rods all over the place because mike had a suspicion that they had changed how this works um before, my little, like, fence idea worked really well. Because it seemed to catch everything, but in this save file we noticed 
some things were getting picked up. Even when our lightning rods weren't full. Making another house, pink and slightly bigger. Also try making an automatic wolf farm, but realize it doesn't work with mob grieving disabled, so we may have to I may have to give the sheep freedom. Oh well. It's poor sheep. <laughs> Back, Ace. Burn a wiki does not guarantee the rods will intercept lightning. It's just that it's very high. Oh, okay, so I guess it just still doesn't matter. We just got unlucky then. That's good to know. Got my oil changed and car filled up. Now doing some laundry. Here you go. Oh, I didn't realize I had leftovers of that path. Whoopsies. It's a corny scoop. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? There we go. That was a very, very productive day. We got our, uh, our animals kind of shuffled over. I'm happy. I think I might also... Move those over a little bit. It bugged me that they weren't even. <laughs> oh. Much better. Okay, cool. And then you can go back to where you belong. I forgot that you had something in you. I should probably take those out and use those tonight. Okay, close. There we go. listening while pottering about a quiet sunshiny Monday. Oh, that's lovely. I hope you have a great day. What's everyone doing for for today? Now some people were having uh, like Easter or I guess good Monday dinners. I might make uh, some more mayo machines here. We have plenty of resources for it so that I stop <laughs> having spares. But just on the off chance I do have spares, we can have that right there. I am making my own Easter dinner tonight for supper, otherwise just chill out and play games and do whatever else. I'm good! How are you doing? Welcome on in. Just work for today. Okay. Wasn't our biggest money maker. That's okay. It was a lot of running back and forth. <clears throat> and I think we're having thunderstorms today. There we go. Um, okay, so sunshine tomorrow. <clears throat> I think it was Shane's birthday today. It's a good day. Just need one more leak. <laughs> Just one. Well, two actually. Oh, did you? What games are you uh, planning to play on there? Oh, now this feels kind of like a waste because I don't need to level up my foraging anymore, but oh well. It is what it is. I guess we got the leaks. <laughs> I 
every morning while laying around in bed. Well, I appreciate that. Partner, I might take our hammock things to go to a lake, perhaps. Also, my friend who is sent me to go to uh, Animal Crossing almost has three stars. Just got online. Oh, nice. You might play a little bit. I found tell you about a fun little Easter egg I found a few years ago. Sure. Why not? Oh, one second, got you. Okay, there we go. So we actually just can finish two quests here, so I might go run and do those before I do much else. Uh, I guess I will take care of the animals, though. And then we're just stick to our new path. <laughs> that no too far we're clerking while I scarf down some breakfast QB sounds good I did yeah people let me know blue chicken was like right underneath the void egg and it looked really weird. I'm like, why does my blue chicken look so strange? And it's been a couple days. Let's just check on our greenhouse. We're doing good. I think, is that one of the ones where they, um, uh, there's like a, a note ahead of time to tell you to do that? Or is that one that doesn't actually tell you? Because that's really cool. Oh, wait. Actually, process these might be a good idea. still have spare geez the duck might be the duck yeah no there's a lot of little like secrets in stardew that are really neat squish is messy the wise as well <laughs> uh as well in the world <laughs> I try to be organized, but I think I am definitely more on the messy side sometimes. Uh, four sardines. That should be easy. I need to level up my fishing anyway. Okay, so we needed 25 gold star. That's done. You're welcome, Pierre. And then... Uh, oh, I don't have all of them on me, do I? Uh-oh. Well, let me go back and grab them then. is clean such we have a chair that can't be used because it has many plushies occupying it yeah i tend to have like i have spaces for important things but then there's those little things that i kind of collect that i don't have room for so they just get stuffed in weird places 
Okay, so that's nine more. Oh, I just need one more. Okay. Oh, thank you for, for thinking about uh, not spoiling us today. I appreciate that. for Evelyn. Look at us go. We had three different quests requesting leaks. Like, it was just a lot. <laughs> um, Alright, fishing for sardines. My friend, I just started saved together last night and he never played Stardew before. Meanwhile, I've been referred to as a competitive Stardew player. How did that go? I know sometimes it can be kind of fun. Uh, maybe frustrating in a way playing with someone who doesn't know Stardew as well. Because there is a lot of stuff that like, you know, you just kind of know from the beginning. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sell off the lesser quality things. I'll keep the leaks because I gift those. Just to make room for the good stuff. Are you winning? I think I am. I think we're doing pretty good today. Um, I need to go buy more potato seeds. Oh my goodness, there's moogles on my farm. Oi! Plenty of money. I think this should be enough. Uh, so the trailer, I think I think Mike may have done this just to confuse people. Um, this is year two. Yeah, spring year two. Um, the trailer is actually uh, my partner Mike's house. Uh, you can update it in this uh, 1.6 to look like a trailer. Yep, they added new uh, multiplayer house customizations. And I, I have a suspicion Mike may have done that just to, like, you know, have people ask. <laughs> oh, I might not have bought enough. In fact, I did not buy enough. Let's go get some more. Radium horse stable? No. I think Mike really was pulling my leg. He literally just recolored it. It's a normal horse stable. You can recolor those too. I swear, Mike, if you're listening. My horse is actually wearing a, uh, a wedding veil. What a troll. I know. I didn't even think about these things, but they're, they're reasonable questions. Ah. <sighs> It's all good. That's funny. Oh, normal stable. Normal player house. Oh, I have Steam My TV playing from PS5. Same internet as my computer. But my computer is the one that's still delayed. Oh, that's really weird. <clears throat> Normally, it's the console versions that are delayed, I find. Okay, there we go. So we got some spare. That's okay. Got that sweet, sweet potato money coming in. Okay, so there's that. Uh, let me triple check. I think they're just in the ocean, right? Uh, ocean. Okay, so they go away at 7 p.m. Let's go try to do some fishing. Twitch be twitchy, yep. Yeah. Sounds about right. Oh, hey, nice. Let me go. I actually have a third one, so you know what? I'll come back with that one later. 
We'll get some, some goodies going. Oh, having a moment with Sebastian. Crystal? He's like, I can't see you under that mask. Who the heck are you? I am surprised to find you out here in the rain. I was trying to go fishing. Look at those dark clouds looming over the horizon. I hope they come this way. I like this weather because it makes everyone disappear, you know? Being around people makes me feel anxious. Same. I don't feel that way around you, though. Getting soaked. <laughs> Here, there's room for two. Here we go. My horse. Cute little cutscene with Sebastian. That was my first Stardew husband. <laughs> I think I might... I don't know. If Mike comes back to play on Saturday, maybe we'll do the wedding then. I wasn't sure if I wanted to marry him or if I wanted to just wait and marry Harvey. But I haven't... I don't... We've gotten married in Stardew before? Maybe we did once, actually. I think that might be fun. My next playthrough, I'll go for Harvey. Cat bobber! <laughs> it is so cute. So I had to marry Sebastian in my Jojo run for the first time. How did you enjoy? How did you enjoy it? I really can't wait for this to come to console though. I know that sounds so strange. Like, you know, you have it on PC. What do you care? But um, I just really prefer playing on console in general to PC. It's just really usually much more straightforward. And, uh, less obvious temptation to mod. <laughs> Is it amazing? Yeah. It's the sort of thing where, like, if I had just money to burn, and I everything else is sorted and I didn't need to worry about anything else, I probably would be interested in the stream deck. Or Steam Deck, sorry. It'll probably make me a lot more invested in my Steam library because I have a lot on there that I don't play. Not against mods at all, no. I uh, I used one actually when I was playing multiplayer the other day. It kind of helped time progression a bit, not be so fast, you know. Uh, but no, not against mods. Just sometimes it's nice to enjoy something vanilla. my point with the new eye doctor I hope they do better at adjusting them i'll hopefully brandon i know it sucks when your glasses aren't sitting right there's one sardine uh but they stop appearing at seven so i'll have to come back tomorrow I need four, yeah. I feel more Jasmine bearing shame because, quote, Shane is just her godfather. So they're like, do you not understand what a godparent is? <laughs> oh dear. There we go. We've got a couple of good quality eels today.
<laughs> good stardew noises, yes. The the collecting noise harvesting is great. Got this old amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, miss. It's true, I'm not. Not yet. bug me that this is still acting weird. I might just take a hundred hardwood down there and see if it acts like I've completed the quest. Mike ended up doing it and like it looks like it's done on my end but it isn't acting like it is in my quest log. Yeah I do actually because like I, I've seen our raccoon friend and everything so I feel like it should be fixed and Mike's quest was gone. Really? Oh, okay, just so don't start putting away the iridium quality stuff. Got some garbage. There probably would be a mod that I could use for that. I wouldn't know to look into it, but... Without looking into it, I should say. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Okay, I'm gonna keep the eel. Uh, CJB cheats should let you. Okay. Alright, Robin's quest. Oh no no, okay, size. This isn't this isn't um Robin. This isn't Robin. This is uh for a a, a little raccoon friend. You lose. Good day, sir. God, that's really annoying. Um, uh, I'm gonna start keeping eel because I know a lot of people were going on about eel being good for like cooking. Uh, I think it was eel. Might not have the recipe yet. Fried eel. Oh, you need oil with it. Okay. Or was it a spicy eel or something? I'll still keep them. So I got at the same time producing eggs on different days. Oh no! <laughs> That's frustrating. It's the spicy eel. Okay. Let me just go run down here really quick, just on the off chance. There's two of them. Hungry, need fruit. Oh god. Cherry jelly dried cactus fruits. Oh dear, okay. <gasps> oh! Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I... D eh, okay, dried cactus. I'm getting spoiled. Yeah, I was a little worried about that because I didn't know if you knew what I was on about. Sorry about that. <laughs> the way Mike and I were watching someone stream Stardew last night, and like we went in knowing that they were a later game, or like a later save file, um, and yet we were still watching. But every time we thought we saw something, we were like turning away. <laughs> Don't be like us. this down here but it was just kind of annoying me where it was I don't know if you any butterflies in here right it's the same feeling yeah okay oh 
Trixie's redeemed to tell me a story. Is there any specific story you want to hear? Or are you down for anything? Chat can decide. Alright, chat. Can I have some story suggestions? <clears throat> if we have any. A western rom-com. I don't know if I got any of those. A chocolate story. Um, is that bad new? It is. It is. Booksellers in town today. Okay, so let me step outside and then we'll think about a story to do with chocolate. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't know what it was. I still, like, I, I haven't really bothered looking into it. This happened when I was very small. I want to say maybe four or five, so that would have been... Uh, 1999, 2000? No. 98, 99. Somewhere in that zone. Maybe 2000, if we're being generous. Um, and I had a friend come over uh, for a play date. And uh, my dad came home and gave us both a Kinder Egg. So I think we all know what those are, but on the off chance someone in here does not. It's a little chocolate egg that's hollow. And inside there is a little capsule that has a toy in it. Um, at least in Canada, that's how we do it. I think I heard in other places the toy is like kind of like loose inside the chocolate, which is not good uh, because I think that's why they're banned in the US because I think I heard people were just eating them whole, I think. Besides the point. <laughs> um, my dad let us pick which one we wanted out of the two of them. They looked identical, obviously, on the outside. And I got a little, like, plastic, like, just like, you know, your little nonsense, like, penny candy toy, right? My friend, I'll never forget this, got this little, very intricate glass mouse. I think it was a mouse or a swan. One or the other. Out of her capsule. And I was so jealous. I have never seen it since. Um, and I, I was like, I picked the wrong egg. <laughs> I haven't even bothered. Like, it, it's been, you know, 25 years. I still remember. And uh, I haven't bothered looking it up to see if they were running some sort of, like, special promotion at the time, because it felt very weird. Um, I don't think I had ever after gotten another toy like that one but every time i opened up a kinder surprise i was always like okay maybe this time <laughs> but i never got it um i don't know if it was special or something but um exactly a play exactly i would be down for that that could be a really cute little event too um but yeah i hope that suffice for a chocolate story <laughs> I 25 year jealousy. <laughs> um, really quickly here, friends, before we continue on to day 21, I'd like to get up and stretch, maybe grab a drink, uh, grab a snack. Uh, I think I'm going to get myself an energy drink while I'm up. If y'all would like to join me, enjoy the BRB videos. I haven't added in the new ones yet, but there are new ones that are out on YouTube right now if you want to go check those out. Um, I'll be about 10 minutes and I will be right back. <laughs> 